In this video, we're discussing permutations and combinations. A permutation relates to the number of ways to arrange and select items when the order matters, while a combination relates to the number of ways to select items when the order does not matter. We will also work with problems involving distinguishable permutations. This occurs when some of the elements are identical. This requires an adjustment of the arrangement, which is shown in the formula. We also will work with probability permutations. We have the formula shown. In this case, the numerator defines the desired outcomes of P being selected elements and Q being the not selected or unselected or undesired element. The denominator will be the total, total possible permutation. Number one, in a room of nine Republicans, seven Democrats, and four independents, a special committee of three people must be created. The committee must have one person from each political group. How many different committees are possible? In this situation, it does not ask you for probability. It's just asking you for a difference of how many possibilities. So you simply need to multiply seven, nine, and four together. Here, I'll do that on the calculator real quick. 7 times 4 times 9. That's going to give us 252 possible committees. Okay, number 2. We scoot up. Okay. A student is selecting courses for next semester. The student must take a course from one of the following different courses from each sub each subject offered. Okay, English, there are three courses. Math, there are five. Science, there are four. History, one. English, I mean, excuse me, education, seven courses. If the student is eligible to take any course, how many different schedules are possible? Again, they are not asking you for probability, they're asking you for possible outcomes. So all you need to do is multiply all of these together. Five times three times four, of course, put in times one, just for safety's sake. Could be a different number on your actual test. That is A, 420, 420 possible outcomes. Number three, from a group of 15 students, how many different groups of 10 students are possible? Okay, again, this is a situation of grouping, but this time it's combinations. If we're going to group them up, we don't care about the order. So we have n, n number of students, that's our n, and the number of students in our combination we care about, that is going to be our r equals 10. Okay, so it's, we're not talking about a permutation because order does not matter. We're talking about a combination and we are not talking about, oh, excuse me. We are not talking about probability. So we need to deal with our combination. So on the calculator, we have a C. So we're talking about 15 and 10. Okay, this is alpha window and combination is our 8, 15, 10 out of 15, so we arrow over, 10 out of 15 combinations, 
that's 3,003. Let's see. Okay, number four. A school PTA has 11 parents and seven teachers at a given, meet, given meeting. If a committee of three people needs to be selected, how many different committees are possible? Again, we are talking about a combination. We don't care about the order. N is 18 because we're going to add 11 and 17 together. Okay, and our R is going to be the three people. All right, okay. Alpha, window, and 8 again. Oh, push dinner without doing what I should. Okay, in this situation, what you can do is you can arrow up, capture it, and, I mean, enter, go back. Now let's enter our 18. 18, N is 18, and our R is 3, push enter. 816 combinations or committees, combinations of committees, different committees. Okay, let's scroll down to number five. Number five. From 25 available players, a coach needs to select a team of nine players. If the members can play any position, now that's important, that makes it a combination. How many different teams are possible? Okay, because we're not talking about specific positions, anyone can play any position, then we know we have a combination. So N equals 25 and R equals nine. So let's go to our calculator, alpha, window, and this time I need, need to simply push my eight once. Okay, so we need 25, n is 25, arrow over, and our r is nine, nine out of 25, and that gives us a pretty significant number. Oh, that's several different teams. That's amazing. Now we'll deal with some permutations. Number six, 10 people are lined up in a row to take a photo. How many different arrangements are possible? Keywords, line up, and arrangements. Notice we are not discussing prob probability. Okay, so we have n being 10 all in a row. All right, so what do we need to do? This is, we're not taking one out of the other. We're to, you know, what we're talking about is, what I mean by not one out of the other, meaning that we are not taking a, an R out. So in this, que in this particular question, R is 10. We need 10 out of 10. What is the total, total available arrangements, all the possibilities? So we go to an alpha window seven. Okay, 10, arrow over, 10, enter. Again, a very significant number. Okay, let's go to number seven. Ten people are to be seated in a row with ten seats in a movie theater. Two of the people do not want to be seated on either end. On either end in this row. How many 
accommodating ways can all the 10 people be seated? Now, that seems very confusing at first, but if you draw a little diagram, it's not tough to figure out. Okay, let's say here in the center, that's going to be 8 from 8 down 1 to 8. It doesn't matter which direction you go. Okay, but on the end, I'm going to have 9 and 10. There, let's call this the 10th C and this one the 9th C. So really what's happening? happening. We are arranging people just as the problem above. That means once you seat someone, there won't be another, the same person isn't going to occupy more than one seat. So this gives us a permutation. That's one way you know you're arranging people in a line, in order. And twins count as their own unique person. We're not saying they're a copy. So we can't say it's a combination you know, like a combination lock, you can repeat numbers. We are not repeating people. Okay, so let's see this as in the center. That gives us an 8 out of 8. But here on these two ends, let me do this in a different color. Here on these two ends, we can say that, well, we're going to have 2 out of 8. Remember, we can't have all 10 people. We're having to divide the people up. So we're saying that, okay, here, we're going to put all 8 out of 8. We can only put 8 people in those seats because we're not repeating people. It's not going to happen. Okay. And then what we were saying is, well, now we're only concerned about 2 out of the 8 since we split things up. Okay. So let's put this in the calculator. All right, alpha window, seven, okay, eight out of eight, okay. Now, we are multiplying these together. That's another thing that confuses people. You must multiply the two parts of your situation. So times alpha window seven, and that will be 8 out, or rather 2 out of the 8 is what we're concerned with. And this is correct. C. Those are our possibilities. Again, a significant number of arrangements. Okay. Number 8. How many different ways can all the letters of, of the word banana be arranged? Okay. As you see, there are two, four, six letters in the word banana. And we have A is repeating. There are two of those. And let's change color. N is repeating. Oh, no. Banana. Sorry. There are three. Excuse me, in the banana. Okay, please notice our little formula here. For some people who aren't used to the way formulas are arranged, this could be annoying and confusing. All this means is you will have your total permutation. That's everything. What are all the possible combinations. That's your numerator. And your denominator are the repeats. That's all of your repeating situations. So that's your R adamant or your NPR, however you want to say it. So if we look at this, okay, so how many repeating situa situations do we have? Two repeating situations. We have A and N. So what should this actually look like? Again, put that, let's put that in a totally different color. We're going to have the permutation. We have 2, 4, 6, 6 out of 6 over 
let's do R A. So that's going to be 3 out of 3 times the N, which is 2 out of 2. Let's put this in our calculator. Alpha window 7. And we said 6 out of 6. Okay. Now, be careful with the order of operations. You can put it all on one line, but if you do that, use your parentheses. If you don't use your parentheses, you'll end up in a sticky situation. Let's go back to our 7. So that is going to be a 3 of 3. You want to take out all the repeats. Okay, multiply. Let's do it again. And that's 2 out of 2. Okay, close parentheses. You don't necessarily have to, but I always do out of habit. So we have 60, and that is perfectly correct. That would be our 60. Okay, let's look at number 9. How many different ways can all the letters of the word Mississippi be arranged? By the way, these two words, banana and Mississippi, they're very popular. You'll find them in videos and in textbooks, and I, I have found them in both. Okay, so let's see. In the word Mississippi, first off, that is going to be 11 different letters. So that's P out of 11 over okay you're gonna have two repeats okay so all the letters you'll have 11 so the s's you're gonna have four the i's you will have four and your p's you will have two so yes we need to write all those or plug all those in so i have p four out of four times p four out of four times my P, two out of two. Okay, all right, so now, now you, know, you could go back up, pull down, capture and pull down what we had here. The thing is, I don't always like doing this because then you've got to arrow all the way back and put 11 out of 11. 11, oopsie, go back. Either way, still the same amount of energy pretty much putting putting in what you need. Same amount of energy wasted or used. Okay, we got two out of two. All right, so we'll have to have another one. I'm going to leave that two out of two and arrow over and multiply and pull myself down another one. Another P, another permutation, four, arrow over, four, and I'm going to close my parentheses, enter. Yes, there's my answer, 34,650. Excellent. Thank you for watching, and please join us in our next video. Part 5 of Confidency 16.